Hi, welcome back to Harish BI. This video is about how to use field parameters for self-service scenarios. If you are new to my channel, I'm Hari. I post videos about Power BI, Microsoft Fabric, Power Automate and so on. I've already posted more videos about Power BI, Power Automate and then Microsoft Fabric on my channel. Please go and watch them. Please click the subscribe button and bell icon to get the latest updates from my channel. Let's get started. Let me explain the scenario first. So consider there are a different set of users who want to build a table visual and as part of the table visual they want to choose only the required columns. Right now we need to allow you to choose whatever column that they want to see on the table visual. On top of that they want to see only their required columns. Right? Let's say if there are uh, multiple users in the organization each user want to see a different set of columns on the table visual. I'm going to show you how to achieve this uh, uh, scenario with the help of field parameters and row level security. Let me show you how to create a field parameters. To achieve that scenario, I have taken this Contosa data set where I have a dim product, product category, subcategory and fact sales. So I'm taking all of these tables for this scenario. And here you need to understand one thing. So if you are trying to add uh, implicit measures, the measures which are coming directly from the database or the data sources, right? Those are implicit measures. If you try to add implicit measures, this will not automatically aggregate based on the selections that we made. Let me show you what I mean, right? So let me try to choose a measure called sales amount. This is an implicit measures and I'm going to click create. To create a field parameter, we need to go to modeling, choose new parameter and choose fields. And this is a window where we have to choose what are the fields that we have to consider for the field parameters. Let's name this field parameter. Okay, I named this field parameter as columns list and I'm going to choose uh, some uh, dimensions and measures from this set of tables. Okay, I have selected all of these dimensions, class name, color name, size and status from dim product. And I'm going to choose couple of measures from my fact, fact sales table. Once I create a field parameter, the field parameter table will be created. Basically, it is a DAX table and this is the syntax of that table. So we have selected all of these uh, columns and measures, class name, color name, size, status and sales amount. And this is the reference point of that particular uh, dimensions or measures on the table. And this is the list order at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now uh, we created a field parameter and that is added as a slicer on the on the page. So in this scenario, I want to create a table with some uh, predefined columns. I'm choosing uh, product subcategory and then product category name and then uh, product name itself. Okay, I have added all of this column into this table. Now on top of these columns, I want to add a uh, field parameter columns where uh, user can choose whatever ca columns that they want to see on top of these columns. Right? So now if I try to choose any of this value uh, on the field parameter slicer, there will not be no interaction or there will not be change on the table visual. Right? So to make this interactive, we need to add the field parameter into this table visual. To add that uh, column into the table visual, you can go to add data and choose the field from the field parameter table. So this is the column list uh, uh, field that got created as part of the field parameter. We are going to choose this. So once we added, you can see that status column got added here. Okay, let's rearrange this column order. I want to keep this column list as the last column. And I want to see product subcategory name and then uh, category name, then product name, then finally the column list, which is coming from that field parameter. Okay, now you can see, uh, so we have selected status from this field parameter slicer and that status column got added. Now we can choose any other column. Let's say I'm choosing class name. So that class name column uh, got added. Now we are going to choose this uh, sales amount. So basically this sales amount is nothing but an implicit measure which we got added into this uh, field parameter. So if I choose sales amount, you can see the results here, right? So you can see the category name, which is air conditioner and then home appliances and then you can see these values are same, right? So this is the name of the product. The name of the product is still same for all of these rows and same for status and then class name. Basically, this sales amount is not aggregated based on these dimensions, whatever we selected. Right? So if I take out uh, uh, just add only sales amount, you can see this uh, sales amount still it is not aggregated. 
because these are the static columns but sales amount is coming uh, as part of the field parameter if you use implicit measures on the field parameters then it will not automatically aggregate so that is where you need to add uh, explicit measures on the field parameters so uh, we need to remove this uh, implicit measures and we need to make sure to create an explicit measures explicit measures are nothing but uh, we create manually with the help of dax expressions i have created uh, a few explicit measures we will be replacing this sales amount implicit measures with uh, the explicit measures so here i have uh, measures created called the total sales written quantity and written amount to update this field parameter to include these explicit measures we can go to the table uh, where we have the the definition added right that field parameter table here we can simply change some of the uh, column let's say here it is uh, total sales and uh, here we can specify the measure itself measure name total sales so if this is the measure we no need to add a uh, table reference we can just simply add uh, total sales that's all just commit this and then you can see the changes here total sales got added and this is refers to the fact sales total sales even though we added just a measure uh, name so this here it is still consider the table reference where this measure is placed that's fine and we can go here and then we can choose the total sales now you can see now this got aggregated we have only one row uh, called the m uh, 0490 blue and then the different colors so the now aggregation is happening because we have we are using the explicit measures right so now we achieved now if user want to add a class name color name right so they can uh, choose whatever columns that they want to see from the list and they can choose it and all will be added on this table visual so now we achieved one part the second part is let's say uh, user 1 uh, should see only few column from this column list and user 2 should see all the columns right if we have that kind of a scenario we need to restrict the columns that we are going to show on as part of this uh, slicer right so how to restrict to restrict we need to use the row level security uh, we need to define a user profile table and there we need to define uh, uh, the users and then uh, their respective columns let me quickly create a uh, user profile table now i have created a user profile table so if you see here uh, this particular user has access to see all of these column class name color name status size and total sales and uh, the other user demo user has access to see only these three columns so this is the scenario when this user logs in demo user logs in he will be seeing only these uh, three columns when the other user logs in uh, the user will see all the columns so now we created this table we need to create an uh, relationship between this table to the uh, the field parameter table so in field parameter we have a column called uh, columns list so we are going to use this column to join this table and then the user profile table so go to relationship and then uh, choose the profile table maybe we can go to add new layout profile table and then uh, the field parameter table so here uh, the field parameter has one limitation right if you try to use this column and then this column basically these two columns are uh, uh, having the same values if i try to create a relationship between these two columns it will show an error message saying that uh, we have some duplicates uh, available on this profile table on this column column right because we know that uh, the same column will be repeated because there are two different users so uh, the expectation is we need to create a relationship between these two tables and this will be on a single side and this will be on a many side uh, but we are not able to create a relationship uh, using this column so uh, to overcome this we need to create a new column on the field parameter table to add a new column you can simply add a comma after the last column and you can add uh, whatever value that you want to see uh, on this table so the value uh, we want to see is it exactly a same value we can just simply copy paste from here to here okay now i have copy pasted all of these values uh, uh, and created as a new column and we can uh, name this column as column itself right so these are the uh, values that we just copy pasted from the first column now we can use this column to join this table with the user profile table go back to the model view and you can just drag and drop this column to this column and it will create a relationship 
right now the relationship is uh, one to many so because here we have one uh, distinct values and here we have uh, duplicates because of different users as part of the row level security we will be using this email id column which is there on the profile table and uh, uh, once we filter this table we have to filter the this table because this is the table this is a field parameter table that we used for the slicers to apply the filter from this table to this table we have to uh, add a bidirectional Right here, we need to change from single to both, and we need to apply this uh, apply security filter in both the direction. Click OK, and that's all. Now uh, we can go and create a new uh, role. Go to modeling and go to manage role, and we are going to choose this uh, this table, and our role name is user. Uh, so for this uh, role, I'm using this table because this is where we have the email ID column. And we are going to use the function called uh, user principal name or username. Let me uh, choose username and then click save. Okay, now you can see successfully uh, applied role changes. Click close. That's all. Now uh, the role got created. Let us try to test the role here itself. Click view as and uh, user. Let's try to uh, pass the user email here. Okay, if this user logs in, uh, this user has access to all the columns. So that is the reason uh, it is showing all the columns on the slicer. Let's try to access uh, this with a different user. So this time it will be a demo user. Okay, when demo user logs in, you can see uh, demo user can see only class name, size, and total sales. So if there is no selection made on this slicer, uh, it will show all the columns. Right? So which means so demo user can see only these three columns, whereas the other user can see all the columns. Let's see how this will work in Power BI service. Okay, now the report got published into the workspace. Let's go to the workspace, and this is the report that we published. Let us try to add a user into this uh, uh, dataset security. So go to the data set and choose security and this is the role that we created uh, and here we are adding that user so in this case uh, demo user click add and save so we need to make sure to add the users into the role then only the role will be applied okay now i logged in as a uh, demo user i am accessing the report uh, on the power bi app so this demo user can see only these three columns on this uh, slicer. So here he can choose only the required columns and that column will be added on the table visual. I hope you like this video. If you have similar scenarios, you can use field parameters. Thanks for watching.